Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 13.5 in our fourth grade Florida Go Math books. And yay, this is the last lesson of our entire book. I bet you're super happy about that. So if you're in my class, you're supposed to be filling out this page with me, 515, as you go along with the video. We're just going to do the front tonight. So we're going to take what we already know about area and we're going to help use that. We're going to use that to help us with problem solving, finding the area. We're just going to take it one step further than what we've already been doing. So let me show you. A landscaper is laying turf for, the, for a rectangular playground. The turf will cover the whole playground, so the green part, except for the sandbox. That's the yellow part. So we don't want turf or grass in our sandbox. So that means we're probably going to have to subtract that sandbox. So the diagram shows the playground and sandbox. How many square yards of turf will the landscaper use? We're going to use the graphic organizer below to help us solve the problem. We will fill that out, but by this point, you should probably already know how to do this. So if we, what we're going to have to do is first find the area of the big one. And then since we don't want turf in the sandbox, we'll have to find the area of the small one. And then just take the big area and subtract the smaller area. Pretty simple. So what I need to find is how many square yards of turf, square yards of turf that the landscaper will use. What information do I need to use? I need to know that the turf will cover the, the playground but we don't want turf in our sandbox. And then I need to know the length and the width of the playground, which is 25 yards and 15 yards. So I get that here and here. And then I also need to know the side of the sandbox, which is six yards. Even though I'm finding the base, since this sandbox is a square, I really only need one side because the base is going to be the same as the height since it's a square. So how am I going to use this information? I'm going to solve simpler problems. First, I'll find the area of the playground. And then I'm going to find the area of the sandbox. I'm going to take the area of the playground. I'm just going to write play here. And I'm going to subtract the area of the sandbox. Because we don't want any grass in our sandbox area. All right, so let's do that. Let's first find the area of the playground, which is base times height. And I already said the base is 25, the height is 15. So 25 times 15 is 375 square yards. Next, I'll find the area of the sandbox. And remember, since it's a square, the base and the height are the same. So I'll just do 6 times 6, which is 36. So now comes the part where we take the playground area and subtract the sandbox area because we, we don't want grass in the sandbox. So 375 minus that 36 gives us 339 square yards. So the landscaper will use... 339 square yards of turf to cover the playground. And that's it for 13.5. You're basically going to be given a big rectangle and they're going to want you to cut out a smaller rectangle. So the procedure is find the area for the big rectangle. Find the area for the small rectangle. 
take the big one and subtract the small one. All right, so that has been Lesson 13.5. 13, 13 if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message.